up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update. The only toy news, not for views, but for all of you. This week, we're going to start out with something that directly doesn't have to do with toys. However, it is a big UltraZilla announcement. It has to do with Kaiju Brooklyn, which there will be toys involved and especially with the thing I'm going to be talking about. Then we're going to talk some Super 7 news that's really cool, but it's kind of come and gone, but I have a little editorial about it that I want to talk about. And then we have the, you know, regular general weekly news. Uh, and th there's some cool pieces uh, to talk about. So without any further ado, let's get to the news. So the big news this morning is Kaiju Brooklyn 2, which comes at you this June, will have panels this year i know this is something folks have wanted uh, we heard about it all of last year and this year we're delivering and why, why am i saying we're because i will uh be helping out with the panels curating the panels if you will corralling them and uh, getting them all ready so not only will i be at kaiju brooklyn 2 once again as a vendor so for those of you that liked uh getting a uh, stuff from me there uh i will also be running the panels we have a lot to talk about with that coming up stay tuned to my facebook page to my instagram and we will update here on Instagram as well when all the panels will be announced. And there's some good ones, guys. Especially if you like toys, there's at least a couple uh, that we're going to talk about. Maybe a few uh, that are going to be right up your alley. So stay tuned for more news about that. But let's move on to Super 7. And this week they announced their Godzilla Minus One Minus Color. How about that? I was just joking, uh, Shima should have done this, uh, but it's Super 7 that did it instead. They put up 1500 up on pre-order on their website. It was a Super7.com exclusive, and boy, did collectors respond because it has sold out already. Now, that is pretty amazing because uh, Super 7, you know, collectors had been down on them for a bit for their first few releases. And uh, this is a big change, I think, and a big change uh, for good. And I really do believe their last two releases have a lot to do with that. Destroya and uh, the 1200 degrees Celsius Godzilla have uh, gotten a lot of nice press. Now, I personally still do not have those two, and I apologize to all of you zillions, uh, I apologize to Super 7 even, because, you know, I I've become known as a guide to review the Super 7 toys. I just haven't had a chance to get them yet, and I will. But it looks like those releases, plus the initial you know, picks and pre-order for Godzilla Minus One, the standard, have, uh, you know, turned things around a little bit for them. And that is awesome to see. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a pre-order in uh, for this uh, Minus Color. I, I'll i be honest, I've had a really bad last week and a half here, and I'll get into it at some point in a vlog, but... I, you know, I put up the news uh, of it, but I did not know it was an exclusive. So, I missed out on it. I do have a pre-order in for the regular version. Not through Super 7 themselves, but, you know, through a different retailer. So, you know, I will be getting it, you know, but I just won't be getting uh, the Minus Color one. It is what it is. Honestly, I'm good with one. But, awesome news. Uh, nonetheless, congrats, Super 7. So, uh, let's talk some uh, Bandai. And Sola Chogokin was in the news this week with GX 109 through 111 announced. Starting here with GX uh, 110, uh, this is the General of Darkness. And boy, does this look cool. Now, I personally have a General of Darkness. They did release a, like, Figure Arts Zero that went along with their Solo Chogokin stuff anyway. 
Um, it's a really beautiful piece. I did review it here on the channel. Uh, so I won't be in on this, but it's awesome. You know, it looks a little different than that. It has a cloth cape and it's got a few things different here. Uh, but uh, it's cool. If folks are into it, it's definitely very, very cool. Then GX109, yes, going backwards, is uh, from Gao Gai Gar, Chu Ryujin. I think I said that right. I actually own a couple of these guys already. Uh, so I probably won't be in on this, but always an awesome looking mecha. He is two smaller robots that combine into one. They're both trucks, like a fire truck and like a, another utility type truck. Uh, very, very cool. I know one of these two is Enryu, and then I forget the other one's name, and my apologies <laughs> to all you Gaga Gaga fans. But, uh, very, very cool. Uh, very, very nice looking all around. Obviously, it's gonna be nice looking Soul of Chogokin, uh, but this is a really nice set for sure. Last on this, uh, front, GX112. Yes, there's one that skipped. There's a uh, GX that skipped here. Is a Repli Gao Gai Gar. Uh, this thing looks awesome. It does transform into the lion tiger thing. Really, really, really nice looking. Uh, all we have is this one image so far, but stay tuned for more. Next up, uh, how about a little Ichiban Show uh, Kaiju number eight. Yes, more Kaiju number eight figures are coming at us from all angles. This one looks really nice. If you're into Ichiban Show, this is a good one, and it's only gonna cost you 45 bucks. Not bad. On the Mega House front, look at this dude's hair. That's right. Uh, we have a T Rex in the Kai Tai Puzzle series, which is like the sister line of the Puzzle Demolition series that we just reviewed the Gamora on. Very much the same concept. You got the innards with all the different parts. It's exactly the same. It's just called something a little bit different. This is really cool. I love this T-Rex's hair. Uh, probably not getting this, but I don't know. That T-Rex hair. <laughs> also from Mega House, we getting a uh, black dragon red eyes from Yu-Gi-Oh! Statue. This looks really nice, guys. A very nice piece. These are the smaller statues that are, you know, under a hundred bucks. Uh, so that's a pretty cool one. You could actually pre-order that on Entertainment Earth right now. So uh, check that out from the link down below. Revoltech is bringing back Stitch. This is one I've always wanted. Apparently it's a little bit of an updated version. It looks pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what's updated about it, but I do like it. It looks nice. Beastbox is doing a set of Evangelion inspired Kabutos, that's right, Beatles of Eva 0001 and 02. These do transform into little boxes like all the other 5-2 toy stuff. That's really cool and they look very, very nice. They come in their own special boxes. And again, it is a three pack. You can pre order it right now on HLJ and they are limited edition. So, uh, <laughs> as we've learned earlier, don't sleep on limited editions. YMSF has a new variant for their recent sludgy Godzilla thing called Melt King. I don't really know exactly what it's supposed to be, a Hedera Godzilla mix. It's like the thing. There's also like a skull that looks like Kong in there. I don't know, but it is horrific. And I really like this color scheme. It really gives off that toxic sludge type feel. So this is a really nice piece for sure. Blitzway is uh, doing another Disney series, and this is called the Titan series uh, and it looks really cool there's gonna be a lot of die casts in this but eh, it's not something I'm into but <laughs> speaking of ears how about this bare brick burning Godzilla that you can get now on the Godzilla US store so if you're into this stuff you can get them at the US Godzilla store save yourself the hassle of importing now Yolo Park has finally put up for pre-order their Optimus Prime G1 Optimus in the AMK Pro Series. These have die cast. It's beautiful. I've talked about this multiple times already, but any chance to look at these gorgeous official picks is a good one. Uh, again, they're up for pre-order right now. Uh, and as you can see, it has LED lights in the eyes. Very, very cool. I like what it comes with. So it's all you need for a G1 Optimus. Now, Dassin Toys, I think I talked about this one, not 100% sure, but if not, 
they are doing their own Marshall Brave Star. And right now, it is up for ordering. You can get it right now at 5K Toys, which is a uh, U.S. store. So check them out if you're into Marshall Brave Star. Last but not least, Titanic Creations FT is not one, but two kaiju. First, the South Korean Young Gary. And then, uh, as well, the North Korean Polgaseri. Now, both of these, I'm not sure if they're official quite yet, so hopefully they didn't jump the gun on this and they get to do these because these would be two welcome articulated kaijus for anybody's collection, especially going with Gorgo. I think they're really fine follow-ups to that. So, good luck to Titanic Creations. I hope to check them out for sure in the future. And that's the Ultra Z News. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below on any of these. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peeps.